Alright, so, how many of you did this whenever you were younger? You had a ceiling fan going, and you just stick your hand up in there, just for fun. I used to do that all the time when I was a kid. I also used to throw a bunch of things into the fan just for fun, just to see what would happen. But one of the things, whenever I was a kid, that I always thought about whenever I would be doing this, I always thought, I'm very lucky that these fan blades aren't razor sharp. And also, what would happen if they were to be razor sharp? So today, we're going to fulfill the prophecy and figure out that answer. So first step is we gotta sharpen these bad boys up and these things are very thick. So these things should be the perfect candidate to be sharpened. So after many, many hours, <laughs> these things are finally done. I even stropped them and everything. These things are razor sharp. Actually, scary sharp uh, for a fan blade. So let me give you a, just a little hint of how sharp these are with a good old paper test. That, I mean, for a fan blade? That's crazy. So let's do one more test and then let's get them up on the fan. So you guys know that we have to do a water bottle test. If it can cut through a water bottle, it's good enough for us. I think I'm gonna need a glove to get a good grip on this thing. I'm also gonna have to probably go two hands. Let's see. We gotta get a lot of speed. Are you kidding me? That didn't even hardly move. That's like... That was, that did as good as some of the sharpest, like, machetes and knives that I've tested. And that's a fan blade. Let's get these things on the fan and let's see what kind of damage they can do. Okay, the fan blades are on. I'm, I'm, I am a nervous wreck. So this is the bracket that holds the fan on. Look how easily this comes off. That easily, I could have a ceiling fan of death just flying through the air. So, I guess let's turn it on and see what happens. Alright, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. I'm nervous. Okay, I don't like that it's wiggly, but it seems decent. So for our first test, I put a cucumber on a stick, still wrapped in the plastic. Let's see what happens. Cut it clean off. Let me just jam it up in there. Literally like it was nothing. Okay. All right. So I guess now we answer that childhood question. What would happen if you stick your hand in there? We have the ballistics gel hand from the last video, bones and everything. Oh, all right. I'm gonna try to get just the tip, see what happens. Oh, nothing actually. That's kind of crazy. Maybe you gotta jam it in there. That, almost, that took the tip of the finger off. That did take the tip of the finger off. What have, what have I built? All right, worst case scenario. Let's say you got your hand stuck in there, like deep into the meat of your hand. What would happen? Oh, 
Oh, okay. Okay. That actually... I mean, it cut the finger. But not, uh, not that bad. Oh, nasty cuts on the finger. All right, let's just send it. Oh. Actually, not horrible. You can kind of see it just left a cut all the way across the fingers. But nothing crazy. I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought it was going to chop the fingers clean off. So if you, if you used your hand to try to stop this fan, I mean, you, you'd be pretty messed up. Like your finger would probably be broke and it'd be chewed up pretty good, but you wouldn't really end up all that bad. Let's see. I'm going to try to like go against the force of it. Let's see. <laughs> so, so imagine, oh man. Look at that. All the fingers are missing. So imagine if you like were like, maybe what if you were going to like high five somebody and your hand got ca caught in the fan? You'd lose all your fingers. That's crazy. So I also have a ballistics gel foot. So I want to see what happens. Just something with a lot of meat and a lot of bone. Like how, how deep will it cut in there? Three, two, one. There's no way. Look at this. Look how deep that is. That's like, look at that. That's like half the foot. I have built something far more capable than what I thought it was. That is crazy. I have a watermelon. Let's see if we can, uh, see if maybe we can revolutionize the way that you slice watermelons. I honestly kind of feel like holding it is going to be the best option, but I also kind of don't want to hold it. Let me just do the edge. That's not bad. The amount of speed it cuts with, it like, just the smoothness that it slices through things is honestly terrifying. Okay, it, it goes right through the watermelon, no problem. Let me try to feed it, the, feed it directly halfway in. Are you, are you kidding me? It, it, it sliced it like four or five times without even really slowing down. No problem. And now I have watermelon juice everywhere. I just got watermelon juice. Oh, there's watermelon juice on the camera. It's everywhere. I just got it in my eye. Look at all that. Well, I have another watermelon. That is much bigger, because I honestly didn't think that it would cut through the, uh, small one. That watermelon was huge! And here's the watermelon juice again. You can probably hear it hitting the paper. It's not often I'm speechless, but I I'm speechless. Just the ability of this thing to slice through whatever you put in front of it is crazy. I also think that watermelon uh, was bad because it really stinks. I'm also, I'm sure I'm gonna regret this. I have a coconut, which I'm sure now that it'll slice through no problem, but this coconut has been in the fridge for like probably four or five months. So it's probably rotten. Um, uh, all right. I, 
think it cut it in half. No, it did not cut it in half. All it did was gash it right there. Let's take a different approach. Okay, so it's leaking some water, or actually that's probably just watermelon juice. That's surprising. Okay, yeah, that cracked it open. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's actually kind of crazy. It looks really good on the inside. And it doesn't smell bad or anything. All right, I have one last thing I want to try and just <laughs> see what happens. I think old Gertrude here might jump a little bit too high. Oh no, Gertrude, don't jump. There's a fan up there. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's, let's look at the damage. Really not that bad. Just a nice little slash mark. Maybe we'll try just one more time. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. That's gonna leave a mark, for sure. So, I think it's uh, about time we uh, call it quits before something bad happens. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below. What do you want to see me stick inside of this fan? I'll see you in the next one.